Hope you guys are ready for another episode of Double D's in your face. That's right. And welcome back to another episode of Toxic Masculinity, where we are here to entertain, to offend, defend, anything and everything that we we want to do here right now. It's uh, uh, I've got uh, yours truly, Dan, to be severed here, and and my co-host, the man, the man, the mo- the the hostess with the mostest, Don the Predator Fry, yeah. and we're here to talk about all kinds of aspects of uh, either toxic masculinity. Uh, what's current in the, in the news? Double D's in your face. Uh. People are saying uh, they love you, Don. Of course you do. And don't forget Dan. He's got he's got a rainbow flag. I, I feel I feel sad, left out here right now. Well, you my... know, uh, uh, they can't. They don't know you're there, Dan. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me. They need to see you. I like, only see Don right now. Well, that's all they need, man. Yeah, I gotta oh. say no, no. Let 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 oh. let Don be the. The the pitcher, the pitcher, the pitcher of it all. There, do you, you got know. him? That's that's uh, okay. That's okay. I I I rather have that. I want that black bar across my eyes so they don't know who I am. You know, you remember that in all these shows they, they always had that the black bar that went across your eyes so that you nobody knew it, who you were. You usually have it across your mouth. <laughs> that's called duct tape. No, this is a ball, a ball gag. Oh. <laughs> uh. um, says, Grant says that, uh, Don, you are the most savage fighter of the 21st century. Only the 21st? Yeah, yeah. At least they did throw an LOL up there. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you should see him at, at the local buffet. You think he's a savage in a cage? I see him at the local buffet. Well, that's you, know? you Mister Severin. <laughs> well, he's, oh, you're you're trying to you're trying to. Oh, I, I got I got confused for a moment there. Okay, you're projecting your your your, your, your traits onto me. The the, the the sparks flying off of the the plate. Yes. <laughs> But though to push down little old ladies go for that last oh yeah dessert there too uh, last 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 piece of Boston cream pie yeah. there Don, you go Jason Lane says had dinner with you and Ray Cash a while back pleasure meeting it was a pleasure meeting you stud well, of course what are, you, what are you thinking where do we have dinner at don't say Virginia either dummy. Um, someone wants to know how did uh Don and Dan get their mustaches so full? So full, so full, huh? Well, mine, mine are from eating uh, eating porn stars, <laughs> so that's not your female, hair? female porn stars. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got to clarify that. That was that day. was. That was actually sad that you actually had to clarify that. Now, well, that, today's that was world, you know. And okay. They, they're thinking. They're thinking about getting rid of that uh, Title Nine, you know, uh, in uh, women's in in the uh, collegiate university, you know, the the women's sports, because uh, it's that way that transgender could compete. They're not. Oh, they're not yeah, making well, it that's... just just for women. It's not just for women anymore. Yeah, you don't you don't see too many women try to be cross gendered moving into mid sports, now, do you? No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh, why, why is that? Because they get they get their ass like, kicked. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 if it's going to be a, a rule across all genders, it's, they should be able to go both ways. But uh, you know. Yeah, but they get their ass kicked, and that's why that's why these weak men or males or semi males, whatever they are, they they go for the the female sports. Yeah, whatever they they woke up. Yeah, who did they identify being? I woke up ovulating today. And, Don, uh, they want to know what your pronouns are. <laughs> right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Uh, thank you for all you've done for MMA. Don't blame me, man. Blame that guy right there. No, no, no. I, I, I just helped Don Fry get his foot in the door. Don Fry kicked the door wide open. 
That's all. I, the, only, the only credit I ever take is I just helped out get his foot in the door. You ruined the sport before I got there, though. <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> now, Dan Severin, he got me my first world title. Well, actually, he got me all three of them world titles. But uh, he got me on a 95 96 uh, New Year's Eve fight. Where was that? Battle Creek, Michigan. Right? Oh, we talking about that the the, the, the Kit Lycan special yeah. there. Yeah, Kit Lagarina, yeah, Kit Lycan's special. Dan was a. Uh, I fought for the world heavyweight shoot fighting championship. He fought for the world super heavyweight shoot fighting championship, and uh, uh, that was fun. That was fun, I think. Wow, that uh, that brings back memories there. Wow. Battle Creek, Michigan, serial capital of the world. Yeah. Kellogg's. Joe Rogan's podcast again. If Joe invites me, yeah, I'll I'll show up. But I'll I'll have to take I'll have to take my gimp with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I you know they they wanted us both at one point in time, but here I was I, I found out <laughs> and, and then I go in this kind of go it's I, I'm being treated like a red red headed. Now they, step, step child now they won't answer the phone. <laughs> I know. Wow. <laughs> what did I do? You, you, you must. You must have been. Must have been a great interview there, Don. It made quite the impression, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> uh, oh. Want to know what cigar you're smoking? A Don Fry special. It's made by. It's Don Fry. Um. On fry cigars. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, Toxic get, masculinity yeah, brand. Toxic masculinity Don Fry edition. Yes. Same as our whiskey. Yep. Here, I'll grab a bottle. We have Toxic Masculinity Whiskey, Toxic Masculinity Cigars, Don Fry edition. We yeah, if you just simply just sit down and just simply just listen for a while, you might actually, you know, get some get, get some hair on your balls, you know. Yeah. Toxic masculinity. This, this is made by by our friends Jeff Miller and um, God damn it, <laughs> a couple of Viet- Vietnam vets. Yeah, yes, yeah. true Americans. Nick, Nick, I can't think of Nick's last name, man. He, he's just one yeah, of those. I can't pronounce it. Five <laughs> five <laughs> syllable words. I can't tell you. I can't say. But yeah, these guys are great. You know, special forces vets from Vietnam, and then they uh, went on and. Uh, Kept doing some more wild shit throughout the decades, and uh, now they have a school um, here out there in Marana at the old airfield, and they teach. Well, what kind of school? They teach driving, um, uh, ev- evasion, uh, fuck, escape and evade driving, and um, then they teach. Uh, Gun warfare and all good kinds of good stuff. Well, okay, but then what, what about the actual whiskey itself? Where's where that manufactured? Here in Tucson. Okay, well, well good. It's just, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm, I'm leading there right there because these are all things that are being done right here in the United States. It's not made here in Tucson, the whiskey and stuff. What do you mean it's not made here in Tucson? That's what I mean. Otherwise, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't know. What, <laughs> it's made here in Tucson. Is there underlining words that I'm not saying? Well, <laughs> you don't speak. English is a fucking first language, so fuck you. <laughs> uh, here. Hello, Don. This is my first time on your live, and I am a huge fan of all your God of Godzilla Final Wars. You're the man. This is your first time, kid. <laughs> well, this is the, I think the first time we've gone live, anyway. So <laughs> you didn't miss much. <laughs> yeah, this is our first time too, kid. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a good time so far, I think. Uh, until we get kicked and, off, get kicked and, off. And if internet. we're not, if you're not, just just support another glass, and it, 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 it'll get more enlightening. Yes, that's right. We are well, fans. Again, it was we are, such 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 we're live here right now. Tell me a little bit about the decor behind you, right? The down you're, you're, you're live. Mm. You're talking about the you got the American flag there behind you. We and, are fans of Elon uh, Musk. <laughs> I have uh, two American flags behind me, one in the corner, obviously one yep. hard, um, hard wood, and 
Then we have Wild Bill Hickok. We have Doc Holliday. We have Pat Garrett. We have Wyatt Earp over here. You know, we want to show real men who uh, were U.S. Marshals and sheriffs. And uh, when it came time to getting their hands dirty and going inside, they wouldn't have wait outside for a fucking hour. They'd have went right inside right away. Yep. Um, see, someone wants to know, what are some good books to read nowadays? Oh, oh, I see. Overcome by, um, Jason Redman, uh, Navy SEAL, the great fucking Navy SEAL, he, you know, he's, uh, the Navy SEAL got, got his nose blown off and got here, shot here, 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 here. You know, and uh, he pulled through. He's a scrawny little fucker. You know, I because my daughter asked me today, I said, he's a scrawny little bastard about your size, honey. And uh, tough, tough as nails. And the book Overcome is a fantastic read. And then um, the book about Quanta Parker. Uh, what is that? Shit. God dang, can't think of this. Quanta Parker, the Cheyenne chief. Um, about the, the Cheyenne, the, not the well, summer moon? Is it the summer moon? Quanta Parker, about Quanta Parker. The, God damn, it's, it's about, about, got this title, like five words in it. Um, Empire, Empire of the Summer Moon. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, great book, great book. You know, and anything you can get um, uh, from any Navy SEAL is great. Um, oh, yeah, because they're, they're living, they're, they're living life at the edge. I mean, yeah. they're they're going into some really some uh, hostile areas, and yeah. uh, no uh, no reassurances that they're coming out. What about Robert O'Neill? What, what's the name of Robert O'Neill's book? Um, oh, jeez. He's the one who, sh- who shot Osama bin Laden. That's a great book, too. The, um, the Operator? Yeah, The Operator. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And these guys are real. These are real, real men. Real men. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, at your peak, what was your max on bench? Jeez. I oh, got, both of you guys. I got lucky if I got 500 pounds. I don't know. I'd have been lucky. And that's probably why I wore out my shoulders. <laughs> How about you, Mr. Simmer? I, I never, okay, I never broke 400 pounds. So when you're saying 500 pounds, I've got holy moly. Oh, no. I never broke I never broke 400 pounds. No, you had bad shoulders worse than mine. Mine were bad, but yours are really bad. Right? Uh, no, no. Actually, my, no, I, I'm actually, uh, you know, shoulder-wise, but no, I never really had bad shoulders. Oh, yeah? Well, it was your knees that went bad on you? That's, I mean, no, just my wrestling career, yeah, I, I just had, I just did not have a real good uh, success story with with, with uh, these situations. I did uh, have, have both uh, these uh Total forty operations, you know, two each. Yeah. Then finally, they just getting stem cells, you know. But I, uh, the more the more recent is what I ended up doing. That, that way, I get them in, uh, down in uh, Medellin, uh, South America. But I also end up getting some stem shots uh, right in uh, Arizona. Yeah, bio accelerator, bio accelerator. Mm-hmm. They did mine, man. Look at this. I could do. This. I couldn't do this before that. Uh, that's you know. Who gave us the word was Ken Shamrock. He says when he first started, he couldn't go like that, and he got the shots. Boom! Same thing. I said, "Shit, sign me up, man!" And same thing. My back, my back feels great. You know, um, they they say uh, they give you an IV bag and they say list three things on it you want. And I wrote, "I want to play with my bulldog. I want to ride my horse, and I want to train again." 
and I'm playing my bulldog, I'm riding my horse. I haven't got the training yet, but <laughs> that's just because I'm lazy. How about you? What were your three? <laughs> I see. I I don't remember being asked to, to write three things out on the, on the bag. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I I did get the IVs there though too as well. I mean, I thought she thought it was a really cool place, and, and the fact that uh, you know they give you the IVs and then uh, you went into the hyperbreak chamber. Right. Because I had some I had some exposure with the hyperbreak chambers before, and I'm a, a big advocate of uh, hyperbreak chambers to begin with. I actually think that will become. I actually think that there will become a, a new gym of the future that will have hyperbreak chambers in it along with uh, the EECP machines. Right. So, yeah. I, I enjoy that EECP machine. Holy yes. <laughs> that's like a That's like a wild Saturday night, boy. I'll tell you. Yeah, but no, it, it, it's again, it's just, uh, there's people probably, you know, don't, don't have a clue what we're talking about, but it's uh, rest assured. More and more information will come out about it. Uh, these are things that uh, can do a, a lot of good health benefits for your body overall. And uh, that's uh, those are sort of projects that I'll bring up probably more when we have uh, Kevin Gilligan on our, our podcast talk about that because he's kind of like the guru uh, of uh, the hyperbaric chamber and the ECP machines. So, yeah, well, you know, every time I go to the hospital for, um, a surgery, which, knock on wood, I haven't gone in a couple of years, um, but I'd always hook up the uh, nasal uh, O2 because you know I, I'm a firm believer that oxygen's oxygen's a real good uh, healer. You know? It's a healer, you bet. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that you have surgery stuff like that, you can continue to get as much clean oxygen coming into your body. It, it's just going to help you. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to help you yeah, benefit absolutely. you. Absolutely. So people are asking about where they can get the whiskey and stuff. Um, you can you can get it online, but actually soon we'll be putting up a code and stuff where you can order through us. Uh, or yes, there you go. Yes. Yeah, so yep. yeah, so yeah, so just drop yep. drop Dan Severn's name and yep, yep. you get a discount and uh, a starting kiss. next month. <laughs> starting next month, we'll be putting all that stuff out. So soon we'll be able to you know get some toxic masculinity. Whiskey, whiskey cigars, and cigars, yeah. Shirts, hats, yeah. All that just stuff. better, better watch about how, how you drink that that toxic masculine whiskey right there. Might might make you just get too too masculine too all, all at once. Knock the old you, knock the old ladies, <laughs> knock her out with her head hitting the headboard. You know, <laughs> uh, well, we can do. The, yeah, you order a uh, bottle of uh, toxic masculinity uh, whiskey and a couple of toxic masculinity cigars, and we'll send you a pair of used underwear. Uh, uh, from Dan Severin, <laughs> unwashed, of course. <laughs> I think that I think you covered that with that word "used." There, <laughs> I think you covered with that word "used." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, they might think that you, you would spend money to wash it, but I know better. Uh-huh. Um, well, again, they could they could toss it in the microwave, nuke it for like 20, 30 seconds, just like I just pull the right out off, you know, nice and warm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching another episode of Double D's in your face. You better like, subscribe, and share, or I'm going to come to your house.